good by every second. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Can't believe it, Bobby. It's another year has come and gone. It just seems like we were in, in uh, Birmingham just a few months ago. And welcome to High School Basketball on Scenic. And uh, I'm Mitt Cook along with Bobby Price, and we'll be giving you the play-by-play -play and color commentation for tonight's game. Bobby, it's a long way from Birmingham, isn't it? It sure is, but it's great to be in good old Dothan, Alabama, ready for some basketball action. Yeah, we're going to have to see what the Tigers can do this year. The Tigers, as you know, finished second in the state of Alabama last year. They lost in the championship game by one point. At the buzzer. At the buzzer. It was a really a heartbreaker. Okay, we have the start tip-off uh, for the Dothan Tigers win the tip-off. That's Jackson with the ball. And uh, the shot was blocked. Well, we had a foul on the play. That was... Uh, a foul against Auburn. At the line for Dothan High is number 31. That's Robert Thomas. Okay, he's about to uh, make his first attempt. And there it is. So the first uh, points of the game are scored by the Tigers of Dothan High School. I tell you what, these guys this year really have some big shoes to fill at uh, the team they had last year that uh, were region champion, area champions, and almost state champions. And Vaughn Messina got the rebound for the Tigers. They brought it down court. Auburn with the ball. That's number 10 for Auburn. Tillman Holloway with the ball. Over to number five, that's Darnell Moss. He dribbles down the middle. He fakes, he shoots, and it's blocked. Delta with the rebound. Fast break to Will Fincher, and it's good. That was a good fast break down, all the way down the middle, carried it to the basket and put it in for two. The score is now three, nothing in favor of Dothan. Finch is one of the uh, players from last year's team. They have a few people that came back from last year. Uh, Dennis Drury is the only starter back with Dothan this year. Darrell Becker puts one in for the Tigers of Auburn. Donald Jackson takes it across court, passes to Simon Davis, and he's called for traveling. Yeah, that's the first turnover in, the, in this game for the Dothan High Tigers as uh, they lead this contest 3-2. to two. 6.46 left in the opening period of the opening game of the season for the Tigers. Tillman Holloway with the ball. Passes over to number five, Donnell Moss. He drives down the middle. And the shot up by number partially three. Blocked. Partially blocked. Fincher with the rebound up, and it's good. So Fitch has made two big baskets here early in the game. He sure has, and that uh, keeps this fast break moving for the Tigers of Dothan High School. All the way with it. Over to number 43. That's uh, Darnell Baker. Messina with it. And another turnover for Auburn, and Simon Davis has it. And Baker turned that ball over for the Tigers. That's a three-point attempt by Dothan. That was Jackson, and he missed it. Auburn has a rebound and the ball. Passing it around. Number five, that's Moss with it. Back over to Holloway. Well, they just changed from a 4-1 scheme, and now they're going to a 1-2-2. Moss with it. He's now being guarded by Fincher. Jackson's on. And, oh, they lose the hell on. Donald Jackson comes up with it. Out to Davis, and up and good. Oh, man, what a great, uh, great fast break move there by the Tigers of Dothan, and uh, they move now to a 7-2 lead. Look like Dothan's uh, really uh, playing well so far in the game. They forced a couple of turnovers and have gotten some baskets off layups and turnovers. And it looks like they have mastered the fast break pretty well as they've uh, uh, scored points off each one of those turnovers they've had. Auburn's looking a little tentative on offense right now. Oh, 
Okay, that's another turnover. Auburn man steps out of bounds. That's number three, Daniel Reese. Reese. Donald Jackson will be taking the ball out for, for Dothan. He played last year. Uh, from last year's team, Dennis Drury, number 33, Simon Davis, number 10, Will Fincher, number 40. The only we start got a foul by number three, Jannard Reese, says uh, that'll be the uh, second uh, team foul for the Tigers. The only return is started from last year's team is number 33, Dennis Drury. He was the starting guard, and Dennis played outstanding all year long, and uh, he was a big contributor. So they'll be looking to him for leadership this year with this team. That's right. Uh, Got to make that fast break uh, work, and he's uh, led the way down a couple of times real easily. Great pass by Fincher down to Donald Jackson for the basket. So Dothan's leading 7-2 with 4.14 left in the first period of play. Yeah, Auburn's just real tight on the floor. They can't get, seem to get anything going. They're trying to set it up again now. That's Holloway with it. He's trying to set up a play. Dothan's playing tough defense. Yes, they are. Lob pass in and up and good. That was number 43. Uh, to 43 for them is Durrell Baker. He's a 6'7", 10th uh, grader. Wow. In the pitch, oh, and nice. he makes another basket. Oh, nice, nice uh, combination there on that tip in. Dothan is passing the ball around very well, and uh, they've been able to capitalize on the good passes and score the points. Now, Fincher has scored six points here in this first quarter with 3.28 left. So uh, he's one of the returning, uh, returns from last year. Uh, he wasn't a starter, but he saw some playing time, and he's come out playing really well tonight. They have looked extremely good here in the, the first uh, few minutes of play in this contest against, against Auburn. Auburn just can't seem to get anything going. Uh, they got that one uh, uh, basket just a couple of minutes ago to uh, give them four points for the night, and uh, they, they're just sluggish. Yeah, it looked like they, uh, they're not in sync. They, they don't look like they're in sync yet. Uh, but uh, it's still early in the game. But if Dothan keeps up this pace and intensity, it's going to be a long night for Auburn. Auburn takes the ball out. Chris Dennis is inbounding the ball. Goes into Holloway. He almost travels. Uh, great defensive effort by number 31 for Dothan. That's Robert Thomas, who's the other starter. And he hustles the ball out again, too. So Thomas made two great defensive efforts there, right. forcing the ball out of bounds. And, and that's the way you like to see the kids get out there and play. That's the only way to do this game, 100% wide open. Touched it out again by 33 for Dothan. That's Dennis Drury. Auburn will be taking the ball out on the side. Number 23 for Auburn, that's uh, Cannon, takes it out. And another great def defensive effort by the Tigers. That was number 40, Will Fincher, uh, knocking that ball out of bounds. What Coach Golden's got these guys hustling tonight. And a shot by number 43. That's uh, Darrell Baker, that 6'7 uh, guy. He's the tallest one out here tonight. That's and his second basket. It's 11-6, 253 left in the opening period. Dothan's leading the Auburn Tigers. And Auburn turns it over. And they turned it over. Number 10 threw it away for the Tigers. That's uh, Tillman Holloway. He's a ninth grader uh, playing varsity basketball. So we'll see if Dothan's able to take advantage of this, the last turnover that Auburn made. Jackson over to Davis. That's in to Thomas. Back to... Davis, Dennis Drury. They sure are moving the ball around and uh, Dothan's holding on there, but the defense is looking good for Auburn. They seem to have it together better now. Auburn's tightened up their defense somewhat. Dothan's having a difficult time shooting and they turned the ball over. That was Jackson lost the handle on it. And number 10, Tillman Holloway brings it down for the Tigers of Auburn. 
So Auburn setting up for a play. Over to Cannon. He drives down the middle. He stops, pulls back out. Pass in low, and it's up, and it's good. That was number 40. Uh, Chris Dennis, the forward. He's 6'2", and 11th grader for Auburn. So Auburn's managed to get a few baskets inside here in the last uh, couple of minutes. That timeout sure must have done them a little bit of good. Oh, nice, nice. Wow, beautiful nice shot. shot. That was Robert Thomas, number 31. Looked like it's going to be nothing but air, but it went right through the basket. That was a nice long jumper. So Dauphin takes a 13-8 lead with 122 left in the first period of play. So Auburn's taking their game inside, Bobby. Yes, That's number did. 40 again. Yeah, did. Uh, Chris Baker is really uh, pushing away on number 30 for Dothan. And uh, who is that? Uh, Brandon O'Griff. Thomas with the ball. Over to Fincher. He drives, passes over to Davis in the corner for a three. And he misses. Jackson comes down with the rebound. Back to Davis. Over to Jackson for a three. He misses, and Auburn comes down with it. And what's the call? I think they call a foul on, uh, it's a foul on, on Donald Jackson. They call him for the foul. Uh, actually, I don't think he even touched him. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, who are we to argue, right? <laughs> right. Nevertheless, it's a foul call. Dothan tried a couple of three-pointers that time and weren't able to connect. Uh, they got a, Auburn forced them out. And they weren't able to get anything inside, so they took a couple outside shots and weren't able to connect. They've kind of killed the fast break on the part of Dothan so far, and uh, they've been able to capitalize on some points, and they've uh, scored several baskets and now trail by three points. Davis is on Holloway. Over in the corner. Drive down the middle, and that was number 23, Tyler Cannon, taking it down. And Dothan committed a foul. Vaughn Messina trying to drive the basket, and uh, excuse me, it wasn't him. That was uh, Tyler Cannon uh, under all those. And when he, when he went to jump, nothing but uh, making a foul with all those hands over his head. Auburn's at the line. That's number 23, Tyler Cannon. Sees his first one, and he makes it. So it's a 13-10 game with just over 10 seconds left in the first period of play. Vaughn Messina comes back in, and uh, Baker takes a seat. Second attempt by Cannon, and he makes both of them. So it's a 13-12 game with uh, just under 10 seconds left in the first period of play. Dothan will be in and bottom the ball. Our substitutes in for Dothan, that's number 30, Brandon McGriff's in, and number 22, Demetrius Roberts. A double team in Dothan, shot by Dennis Drew at the buzzer, and it's no good. So after one quarter play is Dothan leading Auburn 13 to 12. We'll be back after these messages. Okay, we're back at the beginning of the second period of play. Dothan leading Auburn 13 to 12. That first uh, quarter of action, Mitt, uh, we saw quite a bit of action for the Tigers. They were able to capitalize on three or four turnovers and, and get a quick lead, but then uh, the Auburn Tigers have come back and they're just trailing by one point. Yeah, what we saw early was uh, Dothan taking it inside and getting the basket. Auburn changed the defense on Dothan and uh, oh, what a wasn't a... Uh, and, and Dothan weren't able to get those inside shots. He took a couple outside shots. That was a nice inside shot for Auburn then with Durrell Baker, and he put it in for two, and they take the lead. Scores now 14-13, Auburn. Dennis Drury drives the basket. He shoots, misses, and with the rebound, it's number 30 for Dothan. That's uh, Brandon McGriff, and he was fouled on the play. Let's see, I didn't see who the 20, 22 is a foul against uh, the Auburn Tigers, Michael Threat. And they now have two fouls apiece. Griff's at the line, shooting for Dothan. He misses his first foul shot. 
Substitution coming in the game for Auburn. That's number five, Donnell Moss, and number three, Jamel Reese, going out. Uh, and he misses the second foul shot, but I think we had a lane violation, so he'll get another opportunity. Yeah, they call they call a lane violation on Durrell Baker, 43, for the Auburn Tigers. Bobby, you know foul shots are so important during a basketball game. If you can remember, in the championship game uh, last year, if Dothan could have hit two more foul shots, they would have been state champions. That's right. So uh, That's right. It's, it's important to make your foul shots all during the season and all during the games. All right, Auburn brings it down court now, and uh, they're trying to move around, but Dothan picks up a turnover, up, and they lose it back. That was Dennis Drury uh, going for the turnover, and uh, Auburn shot the ball and missing number 30. That's McGriff, McGriff with the rebound. So Dothan slows down the tempo. Demetrius Roberts with the ball over to Simon Davis. Over to Dennis Drury. I think Drury is kind of feeling like, hey, I've got to take charge of this game. You know, we're, we're letting things get a little out of hand. Even though the score is tied, we are not uh, executing like we were earlier. Nice throw there. And we got a blocking foul. That's uh, number 22 was fouled. That's uh, Demetrius Roberts. That, uh, that call was on number 22 for uh, uh, Auburn, against Auburn. That's Michael Threat as he tried to set, and he just didn't get set. 6-16 left in the second period. Scores tied 14-14. Robert set the line for Dothan. And he makes his first one. Nice, nice little, uh, nice height on that shot, and uh, you know, you uh, when you shoot like that, you got to make them, or it turns into be an air ball. Second attempt, little score. and he gets the roll. Yeah, nice tip in. So Dolphin takes a 16 to 14 lead. Auburn with the ball, and passing around number 22 with it. That's freak. They're moving the ball around much faster than they were in the first period. These Auburn Tigers. Yeah, and Auburn were, were, uh, were, was able to get some shots inside earlier. And he got the roll that time. He sure did. Uh, nice roll, nice shot. Looked like it was going to be short, but uh, they were able to pick up the basket. So the score is tied at 16-16, 5.45, left in the second period of play. And Dalton turns the ball over. It's off the foot of Roberts. So Auburn will get it back and get the opportunity to take the lead. Backcourt violation then, uh, there's, there's nothing he could do. That's Baker with the ball over to number 22, who takes a shot. Matt throws long and, and he misses, it. and that's, Baker tips it in and draws a foul. And he was fouled by Dennis Jury. So it looks like uh, Auburn's starting to take things inside. Baker's had a couple of big baskets inside, and he took it in the basket that time. Right, they're he, taking advantage of some height there with uh, the 43 for them. He is uh, he's 6'7", only a 10th grader, and you can imagine what kind of career he's going to have for Auburn. Yeah, see, he's, he's looking really good so far in the game, showing a lot of maturity for a 10th grader. That's right. Jury comes out of the game. Ricky Coots comes in his place. Now, Ricky Coots' father played with Dothan High uh, many years ago, back when I played. Uh, that was the year we went to the uh, state tournament. So his, his son is out there playing. Dothan failed to block out on the rebound, and Auburn came up with the rebound and the basket and, to take and, a 20 to 16 lead. And they turned that into a four point play on that go around. Davis with it over the fincher. Andy Roberts, he shoots, misses. Fincher comes out with the rebound. He goes up, misses, and he fights for the rebound. And we have a jump ball. That was number 31, Thomas, who fought for the rebound. And let's see, the possession arrow is in favor of the Tigers. 
Dothan Tigers. That's right. We got to be careful about that. <laughs> Either way, could be right. All right. One thing for sure, uh, Tiger will walk out here Victor tonight. Shot by Coots from the outside. He misses. And Auburn comes down with it. That's number 40 for Auburn. Chris Dennis. Chris Dennis with the rebound. Down the middle, Auburn, and that was number 22. 14, Willie Jackson's uh, call for a foul there against, uh, against the Auburn Tigers. So uh, they'll go to the line shooting two. Looks like Dothan's got out of, their, out of their game plan. Earlier they were taking the ball inside and taking good shots, and here lately they haven't been working the ball around and, and taking those good shots. They can't seem to get the fast break going like working like it was in the first period. Yeah, early in the game they got quite a few points off fast breaks, and you got to get rebounds to get fast breaks. You got to get those uh, defensive rebounds to get the ball to get it out for the fast breaks, or you got to force turnovers to get the points on for uh, the points both on his end. So Auburn's taking a five-point lead with two, uh, 434 left in the first period. Scores 22-16. Fincher takes it out into Jackson. And, and Jordan Roberts putting a full court press in now against these Dothan Tigers. Dothan has a totally new team out there. None of the guys you're seeing on the court for Dothan were starters last year. So, right. you know, we, we got a lot of uh, players out there that haven't had that much experience. They've seen some, but not much. On the court right now, you only have uh, one two guys that played on the varsity the last year out there. That's number 14, uh, Jackson, and uh, number 40, Fincher. Jackson from, from the, the corner. corner. And he makes it. So that's the first three-pointer tonight for the Tigers. Great hustle by Jackson. He steals the ball over to Fincher. And Jackson takes it to the hoop. And he oh. makes it. That was number 22. Nice that was uh, Demetrius Roberts with that basket. So the Tigers seem to be running again. They forced a couple of turnovers and got the shots. And like I say, you got to get the rebounds. They've got the fast break going again, Bobby. That's right. They, 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 they can, uh, with fast break, they can score some points quickly. And uh, they've taken the lead again. That's right. They have come from behind to take the lead. And uh, it's, it's, it's because of good defense. It's because of good defense and, and hitting open man. And, and they, were, uh, they forced a couple of turnovers. They got a couple of rebounds, and that's how they got back into this game. And uh, Dothan's able to take advantage there. And uh, as Auburn turned the ball over again, uh, a foul on number 20 for them, Lenora Smith. And uh, they've got six fouls now. What do I got, one more in the one and one? Is it 17 fouls? Yeah, I, I think so. Dothan's leading 23-22, 3-21 left in the first, uh, second period of play. It's Willie Jackson, Willie Jackson. Uh, Donald Jackson, his brother played last year. This is Willie's first year playing on the Boston, so, so I was mistaken. I knew it was the Jackson, their brothers. <laughs> Over to Jackson. Uh, Jackson drives down the middle of the lane, puts it up, misses. Dean with the rebound, and he puts it up. And they call a foul on number 44. So, uh, no, that, that foul must have been on 43. 43 for Dothan. That's, that's Dean. He's a 6'7 player for, for the Tigers. And they almost, they throw it away. Fincher comes up with it. And the shot is blocked by number 20. But Dean gets it. Up, shot, missed. Fincher rebound. He misses, but he keeps going after it. Dothan comes up with the rebound. And oh, Dean man. is fouled. But that was great hustle on Dothan part there. They were, uh, I guess they're just in too much of a hurry to try to get the two-point basket. And uh, no one was able to tip it in. And uh, there was people flying, and bodies flying everywhere. And Dothan finally picks up the foul. So we do go into one and one now. But, but that was a great effort by the, the whole Dothan team to keep that ball alive until you can get something out of it. And they got a foul out of it. 
and Dean's at the line. It's Derek Dean at the line for the Tigers. So they got an opportunity to pick up some points here now by uh, picking up both ends of a, a one and one situation as uh, fouls take place. So Dean makes his first points of the year on a foul shot. In the game for Dothan's number 22, Roberts, 43, Dean, 14, Jackson, Fincher, 40, number 40, number 35 is Coates. And Seems like we're at the other end of the floor down there forever a few minutes ago and came away with only one point. Got to take advantage of those opportunities. You don't get them all the time. Two minutes, 25 seconds left in the second period of play. Dothan's leading 24-22. Auburn with the ball. Three-point attempt. He misses. Air and ball. Fincher comes down with the rebound. Out to Jackson. Oh, throw it away. And they turn it over. And just, uh, you know, he's trying to get the fast break going and uh, threw the ball away on that situation. Auburn with the ball back. That's number 20, Smith with it. Over to number five, Moss. Looks like they're trying to slow things down. Right with the ball, he drives down the middle, and he loses the handle on it. And it's Dothan's ball. Dothan picked up on that one. Uh, uh, 32 for them, uh, just hung with it, but he couldn't pick up on it. That's uh, Jehorn Wright. Jackson takes it out in the pitcher. Down the middle to Roberts, and he's fouled. So that was a good ball movement that time, and uh, they'll be going to the line. Right, number 20, Lenora Smith picks up a foul as uh, Dothan continues here with this uh, opportunity with uh, a one and one situation. At the line for Dothan is Demetrius Roberts. He'll be shooting two. And he makes his first one. Uh, I like the the, uh, the nice arch he puts on those free throw attempts. Uh, th thinking the first half he's only missed one of several attempts. Like I said earlier, free, th free throws are so crucial in, in uh, a basketball game because uh, if you miss them, they can come back to hunt you late in the game. Short. He misses the second one, but Fincher comes up with the rebound. He goes up, and he misses, and Auburn comes down with it. Moss with the rebound for Auburn. He got way up there to pull that rebound down. Smith with the ball for Auburn. He drives up the middle, stops, shoots, and he misses. Dean comes down with the rebound. That's number 43, and he's fouled by number 44 for Auburn. That's a bomb Messina. If I'm not badly mistaken, that, I think that's his fourth foul. If my memory serves me correct. Well, I know about memories, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I used to have. All right. Uh, okay, Dean will be going to the line again for the Tigers. Last time up, uh, he made one of two. So we'll see if he can make this one. He's in one and one. He makes the first one, so he got another shot at it. That's right. Uh, Dothan has, was, a, you know, a couple of minutes ago they were down by five. Now they've got a four-point lead as Dothan calls timeout. So uh, evaluating this game so far, I think first part of the game, Dothan was in control. And, and late in the first quarter and midway through the second quarter, Auburn kind of took command. Right. But now Dothan seems that the momentum seems to have swung back toward, in, in Dothan's direction. Uh, both teams are trying to get uh, a lot of inside shots, and uh, and Dothan has been able to capitalize on quite a bit of those, and also a couple of three-point plays have uh, has really put, put Dothan back into this game. Coach Golden's over talking to his players, trying to get them to, to move in the right direction and, and, and keep the intensity level up. It, it's so important to, to keep a high intensity level while you're out on the court because when that intensity is there, it makes it difficult for the other team to, to really get into the game. That's if right. you have a high intensity level, then you're in control of the game. So Dean makes both of his, both of his free throws that time. Three point attempt by Moss, he misses. He has the ball again. 
Back out to set it up again now. From Holloway the with it. I think they're playing for one shot. It's 103 left in the first half. Three point attempt by number 23, and he misses. Uh, rebounding there for the Dothan Tigers, 35, and that's uh, Ricky Coots. So Dothan's going to set it up for one play. Harvard's playing tough defense. Coots almost loses the handle on it. Coots with it. Back out to Roberts, over to Jackson. Thirty-two seconds left. The first half. Dolphins leading 27-22. In the pitch, he pitches it off to oh. Jackson, and it won't fall for him. But it was a nice give and go. Nice, uh, nice attempt, but uh, no cigar. Sixteen seconds left. First half. Auburn with the ball. Holloway with it. Five seconds. They go for one shot. He shoots at the buzzer and is no good. No good. Number 20, uh, Lenore Smith tried uh, a shot at the buzzer and it rolled away. And the Tigers now lead by a score of 27 22 at the half. Okay, it's halftime and uh, the Tigers are leading 27 22. And we'll be back after these messages. Okay, we're back. It's halftime and the Dothan Tigers are leading Auburn 27 22. And I have a special guest with me. I have David Blocker, who was one of the superstars last year with the Tigers, and they went all the way to the state championship game and lost by one point, but these guys really had it together. How are you doing, David? Doing pretty good. What do you think of uh, this first half? Um, they're playing pretty good together. I think they just need to get a little stronger in the post and quit um, waiting for the double team to come around. Just work the ball around. Yeah, it's quite different uh, than last year uh, because you had a lot of seniors on the team last year, and a lot of these guys didn't get much playing time. Will got a little playing time, and Donald got a little playing time, and uh, Dennis is out there. He's, I see him as being the leader of, of this team. What, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, Dennis, is a pretty, he's a pretty good leader. I see him as a leader out there, too, him and, um, and Will Fincher. They should lead the team this year. They should get stronger as the year goes on, but right now they're just young trying to get comfortable. Yeah, I know early in the game, uh, the Tigers were moving the ball inside and were getting good shots and forcing turnovers and getting a lot of baskets off fast breaks. You guys were known for that. <laughs> yeah, because we were always a small team, and they're kind of small this year, so quickness is going to be our best option because we, we never have any size, really. Well, size doesn't always matter. If you're quicker and smarter, that's 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 yeah. what matters. Uh, but you guys were, were really, really great last year. We, I tell you what, I pull out those tapes. The other night I pulled out one. I, I just really enjoyed watching you guys play, and I, I watch all the games on tape, any opportunity I get. I was going to ask one question, Mitt. You know, last year you, you missed that shot at the buzzer, uh, and I know that, uh, you know, made you fall short of your expectations for the year, but how would the team feel after that game? They were like, just keep your head up. It wasn't, the game didn't come down to the final shot. It was what happened on, like going on through the whole game anyway. So I was, it made me feel comfortable about it. Well, I think y'all did extremely well uh, throughout the whole season last year and I hats off to y'all did a great job. Thank you. Yeah, we were very proud of, of what uh, you guys accomplished from, from the beginning of the season to the ending of the season. It, it was just, it was really special. And I know it was special to all of you guys, wasn't it? Yes, sir, it was real special to me. I'm trying to get back that way just on the college level. Well, that's that's good. You have plans for college? Yes, sir. I'm attending Wallace State up there in Hansville, Alabama, where another one of our basketball players went, Corey Burkett. He graduated the year before last, and that's where he attends. So we're trying to get there on that level. Well, that's, that's good to hear. But, uh, David, I appreciate you stopping by, and good luck in the future. And, man, you guys were super. All right, thank you. Okay, it's halftime at the John Davis Gym at Dothan High School, and the Tigers are leading 27-22 over Auburn. So, Bobby, what do you think of the first half? Well, I, I, uh, pros and cons on both sides of the ball. Dothan uh, is a little sluggish when uh, things are going on the inside for Auburn, but when they got the fast break going, they're almost unstoppable. Uh, 
these Dothanai Tigers really put up a good fight. They clawed themselves back into the game after getting down by six points at one time, and they've got a five-point lead now here at half. Yeah, Stephen mentioned something uh, earlier, our cameraman. He was talking about when they get that fast break going, it's a lot like the team from last year. Uh, you know, they, they did it so well last year, and it was so beautiful the way they were able to move the ball down the court so quickly. And, uh, you know, for, for our first game of the season for them, uh, we may see some great things out of these Dothan Tigers before the season's over. Yeah, we, we hope so, Bobby. Uh, they have some big shoes to fill, so hopefully they can fill them. With only one uh, returning starter from last year, you're right. Yes, definitely. Uh, we talked to one of the starters from last year at halftime, uh, David Blocker, and he kind of evaluated things for us. But he, he, he understands that these guys haven't played much together, and it takes a while. Just like last year, uh, the Tigers lost their first two games, and early in the season, after eight games, they were 4-4. Four and four. Ah. Well, this... Uh, Let's hopefully, hopefully they won't do that this year. We'll see some big wins uh, early and uh, as they continue to grow together and get their teamwork going. Okay, Auburn has the ball. Moss has it over to number 22. That's threat. He's been guarded by Jackson. And almost, uh, that was a good defensive play by Dennis Dury. He's putting the heat on him over in the corner. He sure is. I'm mean, guarding him pretty closely there and uh, almost picked up a turnover. So Dothan stepped up the uh, tempo of their defense here early in the second half. Putting a lot more pressure on the ball. And that was Drury, and he forced the turnover. And to Davis, he shoots, he misses, and Fitcher with the rebound. That's hustle when you pick up uh, your player like that. And you see that you're going in the basket too hard, and you make a good flip over to uh, your guy to come in and tip it in for two. That was a good tip in by Will Fincher. He's starting off where he started uh, the first quarter. He had six early points in the first quarter. Dolphins come out playing good defense, and that's Dennis Curry. He forced the last turnover and almost uh, caused another one. That's hustle on, on, behalf, on behalf of the Dothan Tigers, and, and uh, they can add to their lead here as uh, – they keep the, the Auburn Tigers shut down so far in the second half. Like we talked about earlier, you know, somebody's got to take the leadership role, and Dennis Drew, number 33, is the only one back from last year's championship team, uh, only starter that's back, and he's come out playing with a lot of intensity this second half. Uh, Auburn has not been able to get the ball into the basket any at all in the second period of play uh, from that turnover they had before. Auburn takes a shot from three-point land and misses, but they come up with rebound, and uh, Dothan almost forces it out. And the shot is blocked by Fincher. Auburn gets it back up, and it's good, and he's fouled on the play. That's number 40 for Auburn, Chris Dennis. The fouls by uh, Dothan is Robert uh, Thomas. He picks up, I think, his first foul of the game. Scores 29 to 24, 6-19 left in the third period of play. At the line is Chris Dennis, our 6-2 forward. He's uh, an 11th grader for these Auburn Tigers. And he Short. misses, and but Auburn gets the rebound, and Dothan, that was Jackson almost making the save, but he stepped on the line, and Auburn will get the ball back. I sure do like this hustle that the Dothan Tigers are showing in this second half. They're showing a lot of hustle and intensity. We talked about intensity, and, and that's what we're talking about, Bobby. You see the hustle. Hustle, there? hustle, that's right. 31 for the Tigers, Thomas, hustling in to, to break that one up as they'll bring it out under the basket. They're playing with a lot more intensity than they were the first half, and that was a good move by number 43 for Auburn. Uh, Darrell Baker put that in for an easy basket for them. Somebody missed an assignment on that one. Jerry pulls up for a short jumper, and it's good. Nothing but net. So we were talking like Drew is that senior leader, so he's come out this second half, and he's taking a leadership role. Well, oh, number 40 draws a foul. Foul on number 40, Will Fincher. He fouls number 40 for Auburn, and that's Chris Dennis. They'll get the ball out of bounds under the basket. Under the basket again as they bring it around. Dothan's playing tough defense. 
They call a foul on number 10, Davis. They just guarding too closely there and uh, didn't give a real lot, a whole lot of room for them to get the player to get by, and he picked up a foul. Dothan's got to watch the fouls. They don't want to have Auburn in, in the penalty situation early here in the second half. Yeah, they picked up three already. Because late in the game, it, it can definitely hurt you. Dothan's playing tough defense, three-point attempt, and it's good. Who's that, number 40? Chris Dennis put that the was, basket in. That was 32. 32. Uh, uh, right. Auburn's cut the lead to three points. It's 31-28. Dothan with just over five minutes left in the third period of play. Dennis Drew takes it to the basket. Up, he misses, and Auburn comes down with it. Uh, coming up and pulling the rebound down is uh, Chris Dennis for Auburn, and they go down and uh, pick up a basket. So Auburn's got a couple of quick baskets here to uh, cut the lead to one with 449 left in the third period of play. Davis with it. Odie Drury. He drives down the middle of the lane, and he hustles for the ball, so Dothan should get it. Uh, well, the, I think it's, they're calling a jump ball. Right, so uh, the possession error should be in the uh, direction of Dothan. So Dothan will get the ball. All right, yep, that's right. So they're going to bring it out under the basket. Number three comes in the game, Reese for Auburn. Number five, Darnell Moss sits out for a few minutes. In the game for Dothan is number 10, Simon Davis. Number 33, Dennis Drury. Number 15, that's Donald Jackson. Number 31, Robert Thomas. And number 40, Will Fincher. His basket was short, and Auburn's able to pick up the rebound and take it down court. Good fake by Auburn. Ditches it back out. Under the basket, and shoots, and misses. And Thomas comes down with it. And it's out on Auburn. So that was a great hustle. Great hustle by number 10 for the Tigers at Simon Davis. Davis takes it out of bounds for the Tigers in the jury. Back to Davis. Davis pulls up for a three, he misses, and Auburn with the ball on the fast break. And they call a blocking foul on number 40. I don't know about that call. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was that pretty was, close. That was questionable. <laughs> but anyway, it counts. Yep, that's the fourth team foul of the quarter. Uh, if they're not careful, they're gonna get in the one-on-one -one situation pretty quickly here in the second half. Yes, uh, Auburn is taking the ball to the basket and, and drawing the fouls. And they've not been called for a foul this half at all. So it's four tied, not 31 31, 350 left, and he'll get another. Yeah, shot. Reese puts his first one in to uh, pull within one here in this third quarter of play, three and a half minutes left. He misses the second, pitcher comes down with the rebound. And over to Davis. Roberts with the ball. Back to Dennis Drury. Fincher across the middle, and he's fouled. Number 40 reaches in, uh, Chris Dennis for Auburn. So uh, we got to bring it out under the basket. So that's the first foul of this half for Auburn. That's the first one. And Dothan has drawn three already. Scores tied up 31 all, 322, 332 left in the third period of play. Dothan's just passing around looking for something. They haven't been able to get it inside. In the picture, he goes up, turns around, and he makes it. He sure turns around mighty, mighty nice in the air. Got quick moves. That was a nice turnaround jump of Fincher for the basket, but Auburn goes right down and scores. That's number 22 for Auburn, Michael Threat. Hustle on behalf of uh, Auburn there. They uh, tie the score back up, 33 all. 
at times. Dothan came up with the basket in the picture. He goes up, he passes it, and it goes out of bounds. Right between his legs. Uh, that was Robert Thomas. The ball was off of Robert Thomas. Okay, Auburn's going to bring it out on uh, the Tiger end of the court. And uh, we'll see what happens now. Auburn with it. Cross court pass. Down the middle, and the ball is stolen by number 31. That's Robert Thomas with a big steal. He's had a couple of good uh, steals here in this third quarter of play. So Delphin forces a turnover, and let's see if they can capitalize on the turnover. Dennis Jury with it, and they almost turn it over. Davis comes up with it, pulls up for three, and that was number 22, Roberts, with the three-pointer. That was a nice shot there, nothing but net. 40 on 40, draws a foul. And they call another, another foul on 40. Boy, they're calling it tight under the basket on that end of the court. Yes, they are. Will Fincher uh, uh, is going to go through the free throw line now. Excuse me, Will was the one that the foul was called on. Yeah, Will was called for the uh, foul. Dennis, uh, Chris Dennis goes to the line for Auburn. Scores 36-33. Two minutes left in the third period of play. The Tigers are holding on to a slim lead. And they missed their first uh, free throw there. So uh, Dothan still holds on to their three-point lead. As number 40 for the Auburn Tigers back at the line again for his second uh, attempt here. This is Chris Dennis uh, about to make his uh, free throw attempt. It's now in the air and it's good. 34 for Auburn. That's Roberts with it, over to Drury, into Dean, over to Jackson, he misses, but, oh, the Tigers almost came up with it. Another turnover. Yes, uh, number 14 for, for the Tigers there. That was Jackson missed an uh, easy basket there. They are guarding mighty closely here, and I, th I think that's why they're picking up all these fouls here. We have a battle going on under the board between number 43 for Auburn and number 43 for Dothan. They are battling under the, under the basket for position. Yes, they are. Cross court pass to number three, that's Reese. Now they come back up to the top of the horn to set it up again. 114 left in the third quarter. Auburn set it up for one shot. Coach barking out signals uh, for them to try to move the ball better. Another foul, blocking foul. That one called on Dean. So uh, they'll be in the penalty pretty quick. And it won't take long at, uh, at this rate. 36, 34, 57 seconds left in the third period. Auburn with the ball. Moss taking it out. It's Reese taking it out. Coach Golden barking out uh, instructions to his team out on the floor. Auburn's going to try to take it inside. They're trying to take it inside. And a great nice block by block. number 43. That's Derek Dean, a 6-7 center for the Tigers. Hey, that was a beautiful block, and you can hear it all over the gymnasium. That was good defense by the Tigers that time. And another great defensive play. That was number 14, Donald Jackson. Great save by Jackson. And a shot by Jackson saves another one. Out to Dennis Drury. And the ball is off of an Auburn player. So uh, we saw some great hustle on both ends of the court that time. Right, Derek Dean just, uh, he kept trying to pick up on it. But uh, an, it touched an Auburn players and went out, out of bounds. Dennis Drury into Dean. Over to Jackson. Roberts with the ball. Delton going for one play. 20 seconds left in this period. And a foul is called on number three. That's Reese. Yeah. 
Dennis Drew is taking it out of bounds for the Tigers. And it goes to number 22. He goes up for the shot. He misses, but Dothan gets the rebound back out. Jackson takes a shot. He misses, but Dothan's banging the board, and Dean gets it up. Jackson comes up with it, and he shoots at the buzzer, and it's in and out, and they weren't able to connect, Bobby. They tried, but they weren't able to get it to fall for them. There were a lot of shots made there, but uh, no one could seem to find the exact uh, dimensions of that uh, the circumference of the rim, so uh, no points there. And this third period ends with uh, a, a score of 36-34 in favor of the Dothan High School Tigers. Here, Dothan holding on to a narrow two-point lead, 36-34 over Auburn, as we begin the fourth period of play. We saw uh, a lot of changes in momentum that last period of play. Dothan would have the momentum, then it would swing to Auburn. Auburn would get it and swing back to Dothan. And then at the end of the, uh, the quarter, I think the momentum would swing more toward Dothan. Yep. They keep trying to uh, get inside, and Dothan just keep, uh, keeps guarding that basket very, very closely. Only problem I see for Dothan, Dothan's committed a lot of fouls early in the half, and uh, Auburn's going to be at the line very shortly. Yep. One more time. That was a fake and a shot by number 22. He misses, but the follow-up by number 43 for Auburn. Baker. Darrell Baker with the basket to tie the score. Uh, Coach Golden was barking out to his players during the, uh, the quarter change to not be in too big a hurry to take a shot. And they just turned the ball over. Just what you were talking about, Bobby, and what did they do? Exactly what he was telling them not to do. Auburn comes up with a big three-pointer to take a 39-36 lead. Yeah, Reese puts in for a three there, and uh, Dothan brings it back down. Jackson with the ball. Back over to Roberts. Dennis Drury. Back to Jackson. Three-point attempt, and they miss, and Auburn comes up with the rebound. That shot was by Robert. It was off the mark. And a great shot, great steal, but Auburn gets it back. Auburn's holding on to a three-point lead, 6.05, left in the fourth and final period of play. They're trying to slow down the pace and catch their breath. Well, they go again. Auburn's taking the time. Trying to set up something. And they lose the ball. Great hustle by Dothan. Oh, well, we got a break on that one. Oh, yeah, well, we needed a break. Yeah, we needed one on that one. <laughs> yeah, so uh, uh, Dothan uh, gets the ball. So uh, it's a 39-36 uh, game. Dothan takes the ball out. That's Dennis Drury out of bounds. In the center, and he's fouled by number 40. Number 40, Blue, uh, picks up a foul there. So that's uh, another foul for, uh, uh, for Auburn in this uh, fourth and final period of play. Uh, that gives, should be their second foul of a half, so a long way from the bonus uh, for Dothan in this situation. Exactly opposite from the first half of play. Uh, with two minutes left, Dothan was already in the bonus situation. In nice Fincher, basket. Great, good shot. Fitch is taking the ball in low, and he's got a lot of baskets uh, close in. That was a nice, uh, nice read and was able to eat, make an easy two. So Dothan still trailing by one point. It's 39-38, 5-15 left in the fourth period. Auburn with the ball. They go in and shoot, and Missed another it. foul. Uh, Baker goes uh, to the line to pick up uh, another attempt to make two here uh, as the basket rolled out, and they were unable to cash in on those points, but they do have a one-point lead at this point of the game. 
That was a foul on Will Fincher. I'm not sure how many he has, but he has quite a few, so you got to watch the fouls. He's, he's an a important part of this Tiger offensive attack, and uh, without him in there, it makes it difficult. Baker him. puts his first one in, and they now go to a two-point lead. 40-38, timeout on the court. I tell you, uh, this, this game is changing again. Auburn seems to have the momentum now, and that's okay. If Dalton can get the momentum in the next couple of minutes and take it to the end of the game, then they can come out on top. Right, again, they, they've got to be patient in making the baskets. Uh, if they get an opportunity to get the fast break going, they need to do that. But as Coach Golden is telling him right now, you've got to slow down, take a shot that you know you can make, and uh, get us back in the game. Earlier, when they were getting the points, they were getting them off fast breaks, off rebounds, and off turnovers. And that's what you got to do. To get back and take the lead, you've got to force some turnovers. You've got to play strong under the boards, and you've got to try not to foul and give them easy, bat, uh, easy shots at the basket from the free throw line. And since they're in the one-on-one -on -one situation, uh, Dothan has got to be very, very careful with uh, the fouls that they make here. And uh, in order to defend and, and try to keep them from uh, making too many baskets. Baker puts it in for another point for Auburn. They take a three point lead. And Dolphin turns the ball over. That was number 22, Roberts. Turn the ball over, and that's something we can not afford to do is make turnovers right now. Michael Threat just hustles in and uh, forces the turnover. Put some pressure on him. They should have put some pressure on him. He just straddled the half court line. If they had put a little pressure on him, they could have possibly forced a, a back court violation. That's another three point attempt by Auburn, and it's good. That's number five, Moss, with the three pointer. To, to give Auburn a six point lead. Nothing calls timeout. Hey, Coach Golden want to go over uh, with uh, with his players and say, look, guys, you know, we're letting this thing gotta get out of hand. we got to stop committing these cheap fouls, and we've got to stop the turnovers. We've, yep. Well, we've been making too many turnovers. Uh, a lot of mistakes here in the second half. Uh, Dothan's been extremely aggressive in these uh, in the second half of play here. They got, they got the breaks in the first half. Uh, they were, were not committing too many fouls. But uh, the tide has turned, so to speak, on the second half here as uh, Auburn has just kind of walked away with it now got a six-point lead. This is a very crucial point in the game, Bobby, because it's at the point that you can't uh, allow, you can't allow uh, the other teams to score any more points to take the lead. We had a little bit of a mic trouble there, but I think yeah, we got it fixed. we're okay now. <laughs> okay, we're, we're back, but like I was saying, it was a, it's a very important time of the game because you can't allow Auburn to get any more points and you get any further behind. With just on uh, four and a half minutes left in the game. Ball into number 31 for the Tigers. That's Robert Thomas and he scores. Yeah, he, had, he needs to get a hot hand again. He was uh, scoring some baskets earlier. So it's a 40-44 game. Auburn with the lead and a block shot. Well, what I thought was a block shot. They yeah. call it for the foul. Yeah. The crowd doesn't agree, agree with the call. <laughs> So uh, they're in the bonus situation now. So every time that Tiger, uh, Dothan commit a foul, uh, Auburn will be going to the line. Moss uh, tipped his first one now. He puts it in. Seems like an eternity since Dothan has scored a basket or a point. It has been. They have uh, run into a dry spell here. And, and Auburn's eating them up from the foul line. Auburn now has a six-point lead with just four minutes left in the game. Dennis Drury with it. Somebody's got to take over. 
Jackson goes for a three and he misses. Bad. <laughs> Auburn with the ball over to the middle and uh, it's number 22 for Auburn with the ball. That's threat. Another blocking call on Duncan. 15 for Duncan. Uh, Donald Jackson picks up another foul. Uh, go back to the line to a one-on-one -on -one situation here. We talked earlier, you know, early in the half about how important it is not to commit those early fouls. Now we're seeing the results of the uh, commitment of early fouls. Every time they go to the line, every time they get fouled now, they'll be going to the line. Yep. And if they, and the way they're shooting, uh, it could be the difference in this game. Well, that's what it's been so far because they've cashed in on every one of them. But as soon as we say that, they miss one. Good. Good. Let's say it again. <laughs> Dennis Stewart with the ball for the Tigers. Over to Ricky Coates. Back to Jury. Coates back out to Davis. That's Thomas with it. Dennis Stewart takes it to the hoop. And he shoots it. And he's fouled. So Dennis oh. is, uh, like I say, he's the only starter from last year, and he's he's got to exert some extra effort here and try to motivate the rest of these players that, hey, guys, we're in this game now. Let's don't just give up. I was trying to see who they call the foul on, but number 20 for Auburn, Lenora Smith, is charged with that uh, particular foul uh, against Dothan. Dothan's trailing by six points with 3.11 left in the final period. Let's see if a uh, jury can make these. He makes his first one to cut the lead to a five point lead. Nothing but net on that shot and uh, he's been able to cash in on some of those. So we need the points here. Substitution coming into the game. Number 22, Roberts comes in and replaces Simon Davis. So for the Tigers, you have number 31, Thomas, 35, Koontz, 43, Dean. 33, Drury, and 22, Roberts. Dothan's putting pressure. And they forced a turnover that time, exactly what we needed. Yeah, we need, uh, we need some of those here coming down this stretch here, trailing by five points. So what Dothan's got to do is come down and, and take a good shot, work the ball inside, and force them to foul you so you can go to the line and you have a chance of scoring. Coach Golden tells him to speed it up now. We need points. Who's with the shot, he misses. Auburn comes down with it. They rush that shot. You gotta take your time, don't rush your shots. You had a perfect opportunity that time and didn't take advantage of it. It's getting in too big a hurry. So Auburn's gonna run some time off the clock with the five point lead, 233 left in the th fourth period. Well, Golden's uh, barking out directions here, and we see a, a change in the defensive lineup for Dothan as they're trying to get the ball away from these and targets. Force a turnover. Force a turnover. That's why he was said, put some pressure on the ball. Put some pressure on the ball. And that time they did it, and they came up with a big turnover. Now, what they got to do this time, they got to go downtown. Uh, downtown. <laughs> well, they need to take it downtown. Yeah, we could stand a nice three-point play here. Yeah, they got to take it in and take a good shot with just over two minutes left in this game and trail him by five points. Two there takes is. one from three, and he misses. <laughs> Big shot for Dothan, so it's a 43 to 44 to 46 game. Dothan put pressure on Auburn. Auburn with the ball, 144 left, two point game. Auburn pulls up for a long shot, it missed, but Auburn comes down with the rebound. That was number three with it, Auburn calls timeout. Boy, we missed a great opportunity with that rebound, Bobby. We could have gotten that rebound. We sure did. They, they, they sort of read that play, Auburn did, to be able to pick up that rebound and uh, pull the ball, basket back in. So they call a timeout, and we got a minute 33 left. Boy, I tell you, it's, it's getting down to the wire, but that was a big three-pointer that Koontz made just a, a minute ago. He drove in a little while earlier, kind of out of control, 
and, and missed the shot, but he kind of made up for it this time with a big crucial three-point shot late in the fourth quarter. It's, it's hard to believe that uh, these Auburn Tigers, from committing uh, eight or nine fouls in the first half, they've only committed two in this uh, second half of play, and Dothan has committed nine. Right, right now it's nine to three on foul. So Dothan's not in the one and one situation. So, you know, uh, and it's very unlikely that they will be in one and one before this game ends. Right, and the error is also in our favor too if we get a jump ball. So uh, the possession error is in, the, in favor of the Dothan Tigers and uh, we have a minute and 33 left and we need a turnover. <laughs> yes, we do, and they got the ball. Auburn got a, was that a basket? Yep, I thought I got, I heard the buzzer they got, going. They got a quick basket. Well, I, don't, I, I haven't seen the scoreboard change. Uh, Dennis Jury pulls up. Oh, 43, uh, Baker's called for a foul there. So Dothan will bring it out, a uh, shooting foul. I don't know what happened, but I think Dothan players are at the buzzer and they stopped. Right. Playing and, and left the man wide open. I, I don't know what happened. I think they should have stopped the play. If it's an official on the clock and the buzzer goes off, they should have just Started stopped over, the play. Right. Yep. You know, that was very unfair to the Tigers for them to get an easy basket like that by a mistake by we, the scorekeeper. All right, we need uh, Dean to make these. First one's in, nothing but net. We need one more like that. See, you're talking about the difference in a one-point game and a three-point game now. Right. So I, I just think the officials should have stopped the game right then and said, okay, the buzzer went off inadvertently, and uh, let's stop the game and take the ball back out. It's a 46-48 game now. It would have been a tie game if that hadn't happened. And a four oh, a travel call on number 40. Chris Dennis commits a turnover there under the basket. The Tigers can uh, tie this thing up here with uh, some smart play under the basket here with uh, just 112 left. What the Tigers need to do is not force anything. Take good shots, take it inside, and, and force them to foul you. Take a good shot inside and force them to foul you. Dennis Drury, the senior leader, with the ball. Over to Coots. 56 seconds left in the game. They need to move that around. Dothan's trailing by two points. Roberts with it. Over to Dennis Drury. He lost it in. Oh, and it comes up. Oh, and Dothan gets the ball back. Great hustle. That was a great hustle. Great that, hustle. That was a good pass from, from Drury over to Dane, but he wasn't able to get it to fall for him. Oh, it's a shame that basket didn't, didn't uh, fall in to tie this thing up, but... Uh... With, with hustling, we were able to pick up a turnover there and keep the basket down on the ball down our side of the basket. It was a well executed play, but the ball just didn't fall for him. So I'll tell you, right now, Bobby, that two points is making a difference yep. in this game, you know, and I, I would hate to see that be the difference in, in the Tigers winning and losing. That, that, because, could, that could be a reason for a couple of these foul, these turnover calls that we've, that's gone our way here in these uh, last few minutes, too. Uh, are you saying they may be make-up calls? No, <laughs> no, they wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, 48, 46, 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Auburn with a narrow lead, and Dothan will be getting the ball back in bounds. Coach Golan's on the sideline. He's drawing out a play for him, and uh, hopefully what he comes up with will work and hopefully the, the players will execute. Well, this this is the ball game right here. This is it. This is it. We got to make this basket. So uh, so coach is, he's, he's getting them fired up. Say, so we've been here before. <laughs> <laughs> we have been here before. Now, a lot can happen in these uh, closing seconds of playing a ball game. And yes, it, it, yes. It's, we, was, we was on the short end of it in our last game last year. All right. Coos takes the ball out. And the, the bonus goes to us, so it's, we got it again. 
Boy, we got a break then, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Coach Golden calls another timeout. I don't think he was too happy with the way things went that uh, last time. <laughs> I don't think he was happy at all. Uh, with, the, with the throw in, Nora with uh, trying to cover that, almost turned it over. But thank goodness we had the bonus. Uh, excuse me, the, the, the arrow is pointed our way, and we get to hold on to the ball. Because if we didn't, Auburn could uh, very well run the clock. They could have iced it away, yeah. Yeah, so uh, Dothan is taking a timeout. They're trailing by two points, and I tell you what, it doesn't get much closer than this. Well, six seconds ago, we said uh, this was the ball game. Uh, we're in the same situation again. This is the ball game here. We got to have this basket in order to tie it up uh, to keep it going. Well, you got to give Auburn credit for that last play. They put pressure on the ball and almost forced the turnover. And the only reason that they didn't get the ball is because the possession error was in the. Uh, direction of the Tigers. Uh, we need to make these points, but we don't need to be in too big a hurry to make it. And to, oh, almost lost. Dennis Drury takes it to the basket. And they call, they call a foul. Ball, a foul. Boy, I tell you what, we got away with one then. We almost walked. Yep, Darrell Baker got called for a charging, for, for a blocking, blocking foul, foul there. And uh, so, what do we do? We go to the line here for two? Uh, he was in the act of shooting, so uh, he'll be at the line for two. We keep talking about these free throws, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, we got to have them here. I tell you, they are important. You know, I said early in the game, if you miss them, they can come back late in the game to haunt you. That's right. It's kind of uh, like in football, you know, extra points. You miss them early in the game, they'll come back and get you later. Well, there. we got a good player at the line to make the free throws. We got a, we got a veteran, so. Yeah, well, let's hope Dennis can, can make these, uh, show some senior leadership here. Uh, Auburn calls time out now. Boy, I tell you what, this one's getting Strategy pretty. is uh, really turning over here. It, it is. It's uh, 48, 46, 23 seconds left, and it's a seesaw. It's a, it's a battle of the, the minds right now. That's right. It's uh, the Auburn Tigers coach against the Dothan High Tiger coach. Uh, we've been uh, trying to score two points here for nearly 10 seconds, and we've been unable to put anything in the basket. But somehow, miraculously, we've been able to hold on to the basketball. That's, that's a good part of it, Bobby. If you keep holding on to it, sooner or later, you'll get something to fall for you. And so hopefully that's what's going to happen for the Tigers. Hopefully uh, Dennis Drew will make both of these free throws and tie the score up. And like I said, we, we have about uh, 23 seconds left, exactly 23 seconds left. Well, as in the junior varsity game beforehand, they let it get away here because they had a comfortable lead a couple of times and then Auburn uh, battled back in the JV game, and then they uh, picked up uh, a win by one point over the Northern Tigers in the game earlier tonight. And Dothan got a couple of good shots at the basket right before the buzzer, but they weren't able to connect. Yep, two shots here. Dennis Sturr is at the line. He's been there before. He's been there before. He's been in big games before with a lot of pressure on so. Yep. Clutch, clutch, clutch. One oh, point man. game, Bobby. Yeah. So if he can make this one, it will tie the score. Dalton needs to be prepared to get the rebound if he misses. Right. So you have to be very alert, block out, and, and make sure you don't let one of the Auburn men slip by you. Shoot long. He misses, and, and that's just what I talked about. You got to block out. So Dennis uh, can miss the foul. They'll be at the line for one and one. I, I was just talking about you got to block out and don't let them get the rebound, and that's exactly what happened. Yeah, Drury uh, was hustling down trying to uh, to get that uh, get a turnover so they could come back down at their end. But uh, with a one and one situation here, uh, it's going to be tough. What we have here, uh, Bobby, is that uh, Dalton's got to be ready if Auburn misses. The first shot. Dalton's got to make sure they block out yep. to keep Auburn from getting the rebound. And if they miss the second shot, it's the same thing. It's a one-point game, so 
every point counts. So Dothan just got to be, they, right now you have to be mentally in the game. That's right. Basketball uh, is a mental game, and, and right now you definitely have to be mentally in it. There's still a lot of time left on the clock with 18 uh, seconds. I know that doesn't sound like a long time, but in a basketball game, that's an eternity. And if, 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 uh, if Auburn makes his first shot, it's only a two-point lead, and then he misses it, they got to be hustling down with a fast break and put it in to tie it up. So hopefully the Tigers can come up with uh, a way to win. You know, that's, you have a will to win, but then you have to have a way to win. You got to execute. And that's the key word, you got to execute. So Delton's got to get in. They got to make sure they block out on the rebounds. Don't let one of Auburn men slip in and get a rebound if he should miss. And if he makes both of them, you're still in the game. You're still in the game. That's time still left on the clock. 18.2 seconds left. All right, he puts it up. It's there. So it gives Auburn a two-point lead, 49-47. Three he makes both of them. All right, Dothan brings it down. Three-pointer. And they turn it over. Get on the wheel. I'll tell you, <laughs> I think inexperience was the reason for that, Bobby. Uh, they yeah. have a lot of young players out there, and uh, I, I think that, that was, that's what happened there, inexperience. So right, they've got eight seconds left, and they've got a three-point lead, and uh, they're at the line with a, they call a two-shot foul here? Yeah, they call an intentional foul. Uh, Fincher grabbed him, and if he had gone for the ball and fouled him, it wouldn't have been a two-shot foul, but right. but they call that an intentional foul because he grabbed him. Well, the, the free throws have been the story of the second half. Uh, Auburn has been able to cash in on a lot of the one-on-one -one situation, and that's why they have really got this three-point lead because they've only committed four fouls in the second half, and Dothan is now charged with, uh, well, it was 10, 35 or 40 seconds ago, so uh, they haven't kept up with that. I think Dothan's got 12 fouls now. I guess at this point it doesn't matter because they're in the one-on-one -one situation. Yeah. You know, they're one-on-one -one the rest of the game. And, and we talked about that early in the second half. We said, hey, they've committed all these fouls. Auburn's going to be in the bonus the rest of the game. And, and that's exactly what happened. And if you look at the difference in the score of the game, that, that has a lot to do with it. Yep. That's, that is right, and uh, we're going to see what's going to unfold here in these remaining uh, 8.4 ticks of the clock. Okay, he'll be shooting He two. needs to miss this one. He did. And he misses it. Okay, so Dalton is still within a three-point shot of armor. Second attempt. He makes it, so it's a four-point game. And Auburn will get the ball out. On, am I right? No. Yes. On an intentional foul. Yeah, that's 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 a rule, the way the rule reads now. It wasn't like that in my days, but <laughs> nowadays, you know, it changed things so much. But uh, intentional foul. Three point two seconds, another foul, back to the line, 51-47, three point two seconds. Miracle. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it had to be a miracle hey, here. Hey, hey Bobby, it would take a three point attempt and he's fouled on the three point attempt. Yeah. He'd have to make the three pointer and he'd have to be fouled and, in the process. And the coach is hollering, do not foul. He do misses. not foul. He misses. So if In fact, he misses, he's going to give them the basket if they come down. If he misses and Dothan can get it out for a low. Oh, so that's a five-point game. Dennis Jury takes a three-point attempt. He misses, and that's the game. Auburn comes out on top of the Tigers, 52-47. to 47. Uh, It's a little disappointing for Dothan. Uh,
coming in the first game of the season, losing it at home in a close one. Well, they 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 shown they look good uh, at se on several occasions. They were able to get the fast break going, but here uh, at the, toward the end of the game, and I guess the, the big story of this thing is the, the number of fouls that they were called on in this uh, second half of play. Uh, the second half fouls played a big factor in the way this game ended up, and I, I still I'm still going to say that inadvertent buzzer where Auburn got the two points. I think it made a difference in this game. Uh, I think that's a, a, a good thought uh, on that, Mitt. It, you know, that uh, would have definitely changed the complexity of uh, the strategy on Coach Golden for, for Dothan here in these uh, waning seconds of the game. But, uh, you know, they just could not could not get a clutch basket here with, uh, you know, 35 seconds. They could have uh, tied the game up, and the whole strategy would have been out the door and started all over. Well, well one thing we did see, if, if you can look back to last year, and uh, we keep going back to last year's team, but the Tigers started off last year losing their first two games. And uh, they were four and uh, four going into the uh, Holiday Classic. But from that point on, they went on a 12 game winning streak and won 22 of their last 24 games. Uh -huh. So, you know, you, you look at that, and so you still see that, you know, because you lose your first game, that doesn't mean that it's hopeless. And, and believe me, last year's team, first game looked a whole lot worse than this team <laughs> and, and for them to come together I think what we see tonight I, I think some of the mistakes that were made were come from inexperience and players not used to playing with each other I think as the season goes on you will see them as they practice together more and play mm -hmm. together more they'll, they'll feel each other out a whole lot better well, it's, it's been enjoying to get uh, get back into basketball action, and we got to get ourselves accustomed to that. Quit talking about the oblong <laughs> ball and start talking more about the round ball. In fact, I almost said football a couple of times. <laughs> well, but, you uh, know, uh, field goal is basketball <laughs> and football. But uh, well, I almost said the stadium instead of the gym. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna we're gonna be in action uh, a couple of times a week throughout this basketball season. We're we're gonna. You know, we're going to select sort of like a, the, the the wire grass and, 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 and try to do uh, most of the high schools in the area, and we're looking forward to that during this season. Yeah, that should be fun. We're going to be carrying games from all of the area high schools. We'll be carrying Dothan Island, Northview, Houston Academy, Rehoboth, uh, Emmanuel Christian, Emmanuel Christen, Northside Methodist, uh, Dale County, and we'll, we'll be carrying a lot of games this yeah, year. Yeah, Ashford and Ashford Academy. So, uh now, we may even pick up a Dale County High School, not, uh, not Dale, yeah, Dale County, and we'll also pick up Houston County High over in Columbia maybe a couple of times uh, throughout the season, too. So, you know, this should be a really good season. Uh, we really enjoy doing these games uh, as a public service, and, and, you know, it's good for these kids. I, I wish I'd have had this opportunity when I was playing to, to be able to go and watch myself play on TV or watch myself sit on the bench or whatever the case may be. But... Uh, it, 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 it's just really something special, and the kids really enjoy it and appreciate it. That's right, and also we might, might point out to any advertiser or any businessman or, or woman that is in business in the Wiregrass and they happen to tune in one of these ball games and they'd like to become a uh, sponsor of some of this stuff, they can just give us a call at, uh, at our scenic offices, and, and we'll be happy to have a salesperson go out and uh, contact them and show them how they can be a part of uh, high school basketball action in the Wiregrass. Yeah, that's important to get the community support, and by you being a sponsor, it shows uh, support for the community. That's right. And, and, that, and that's so important to these young kids who are out here giving it everything they got to try and succeed. So I think uh, next Tuesday night, uh, we do a Dale County game with uh, Emmanuel Christian, I believe. And we're also gonna look at uh, there's one other game on the schedule, but I forget, so I better not say any more than, than that. <laughs> right. Well, it's been a good one, Bobby, and uh, looking forward to uh, this season. It was fun last season. I tell you, the end of the season was just so much fun, and we w uh, went to Troy and to Birmingham, and it was fun. We're hoping to get to Birmingham again this year. Yeah, we want to do that again for sure. Okay, for Mick Kirkland and Bobby Price, we want to wish everybody a good evening and a good day.